Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been kind of away for a couple weeks now. I've been traveling and I am finally back. Back to work, um, back to making content and, um, you know, just ready to get into a new topic with you guys. So when we talk about prop trading, a lot of times I see the focus um, is on day trading. And I, um, I consider myself a lot of times a swing trader. So... I, my background in trading is I started with stocks and then I traded options um, and I traded futures. So my experience with options, generally, I, I trade in the medium to long term. Um, so day trading and prop trading was something I, I kind of learned from scratch. So when I think about the idea of prop trading and swing trading, a lot of prop firms do give you options to allow you to swing trade. And the difference basically is uh, with day trading, you have to close your positions out every day at close. You cannot hold a position uh, between, I think, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, some brokers, it's 5 to 6 p.m. But generally, once the market closes, you close all, all your positions and then you can start trading at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. So people say that if you do it that way, it's less risky because, you know, you're going to sleep, um, you're not holding any positions overnight, and it's less risky in the sense that if there's any wild moves overnight, it's not going to impact you. Uh, the second reason for why most prop firms focus on day trading is with prop firms, uh, most prop firms have you trade on platforms that give you um, a lot of margin and where the margin requirements are low. So, uh, for example, to trade an a e-mini with most brokers, you would need the full margin requirement versus with uh, platforms like NinjaTrader or Tradeovate where they might require $500 to trade a single e-mini contract. So overnight or between that 4 to 6 p.m. window, um, that's when the broker basically checks to see that you or your broker has enough uh, margin available in your account. So like by having you close your positions out at the end of the day, that's not a concern. Uh, they're not taking that risk of like having it uh, being required to have that much money on hand for you to hold a position. But um that's one reason. And the other reason is uh, day trading is actually riskier and harder to do than swing trading. Because with day trading, you're basically saying the market's going to do this today. It, you're not saying the market's going to go up sometime in the near future or it's going to go down sometime in the near future. You're basically making an assessment of what you think the market's going to do within a very short period of time. And generally in investing, they say that the longer the time horizon, the less risky it is, which sometimes is true, sometimes is not true. I don't really believe that there's any one saying that applies all the time. But historically, the market does go up over time. So anyways, uh, swing trading is a little less risky than day trading because you're not confined to the one day. And even if you want to say, I'm going to close my position out at 4 p.m. every day and buy it back at 6, over time, that's going to eat up your commissions. And also, there could be movement in between that window where you might miss a move. Uh, so swing trading allows you to just buy a position and hold it for longer periods of time to see if you make a profit or not versus day trading where whether it's a loss or when you have to close it out at the end of the day. So I'm going to go over a couple of brokers that offer plans that allow you to not brokers plat uh, prop firms specifically that allow you to swing trade. So the first one I'm going to cover is you profit. You uh, profit offers a couple plans, but their smallest plan, which is their nine K account, $9,000 allows you to swing trade. And I'm going to go over the rules. So you can only trade the micros on the NASDAQ on the S and P and on the Dow with the 9k account and you can only trade five of them so five micro e-minis and it's not a scaling plan so once you either in your evaluation account or your funded account 
the max you can trade is five, uh, five micro contracts. Now with you profit, something I don't like, they still require you to close your positions out on Friday. Um, and that's because again, holding over the weekend does present risk because anything could happen over the weekend. So if you're holding positions over the weekend and the market opens up Sunday and something crazy happened, that's a lot of risk. So they'd rather not take that risk. So that's why, um, you know, they require you to close it out. You profit. I think it's a, it's a cool choice. They do offer end of day drawdown on their accounts and, uh, their prices are pretty fair compared to everybody else in the market. The other option I'm going to go over is a company called Lilo. So with Lilo, when you pass their evaluations, at least on the foundation accounts, um, also on the bundles, weekly accounts, I'm not sure. But um, on these two accounts, the foundation accounts and the bundle accounts, once you pass an evaluation on any account size, they give you an option. You have the option to either have a pro account with the same rules as the evaluation account you took, or you can take um, what's called a static account. So static account has significantly um, smaller contract sizes and also has a very little drawdown. I believe it's $625. So with that, it's, you know, on any account. So if you pass a 100K account or 25K account, once you pass, they're going to give you an email telling you, pick your pro account type. But in all of their pro accounts, um, they have the option to hold three micros overnight. And they don't require you to close on weekends. And Lilo does allow you to trade news. So you don't have to worry about closing your positions out uh, during news. You can just hold it if you want to. So I like that a lot about Lilo, that they um, they offer you the choice to hold three micros is not a lot, but I still think it's better than nothing. And I, I think for some traders, just having the choice to be able to do that is great. So right here, they're Glide Micro. Uh, this is the static account I was telling you about. So when you pass a test or evaluation for any of their account sizes, you actually have the choice before you go to a pro account to choose this account as your pro account. And um, I think it's a good choice. By default, static accounts give you end of day drawdown because the drawdown is fixed. It's fixed to a certain number. So let's say you made a thousand dollars in the account. Well, your drawdown increased by a thousand dollars, and so on. So I like that a lot uh, about static accounts. I don't like the fact that the drawdown's so little, but um, I still think they're great um, just to grow in really have a sense of the equity in the account, you earned it, and there's no drawdown to worry about to getting to uh, because it is fixed. The third one I'm gonna go over is um, Elite Trader Funding. To me, Elite Trader Funding offers one of the very best um, uh, options for swing trading. Their option is a 100K account uh, where you have two minis you can hold, and you can hold a full two minis overnight. And this includes overnight and weekends. They offer end of day trailing drawdown, which is great, but they do have a, lot, a daily loss limit, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I think it's a fairly decent price. I don't think it's, uh, you know, for what you're getting, you're getting good value and you're able to hold two minis overnight on the account. So that's great to me. And the final option I'm going to go over is something new. Uh, there's a company called Tick Tick Trader, and they're offering something called the 10K Direct Swing Account. So this account is unique because it doesn't require you to pass an evaluation. So you pay 229, and you're in an account. You're in a, a funded account, right? And um, in this account, basically when I say funded account, I mean they will pay you on the profits you earn in the account. Uh, a lot of the rules still apply, so read each terms and conditions on each site if you care to. But this account's cool because not everybody has time to wait 5, 10, um, 7 trading days to go into a funded account. You can basically just spend the 229 until May 31st, and you will have a live account um, that does give you the ability to uh, swing trade. Now, their rules are pretty similar to 
um, I would say Lilo and U Profit, where you can you can hold um, five micro contracts overnight. And the drawdown on this one's a little higher. It's one thousand dollars, but the daily loss limit is really small, which is three fifty, which is not a lot at all. But after you make over eleven hundred dollars of profit in this account, you can start making withdrawals. So they allow you to hold overnight on weekdays and during the weekend, which is I think it's great. So if you're looking for a new option as a trader and maybe day trading is not working out for you or you're wondering if there's other options or better options, you know, look into swing trading. I think that the general uh, groups of traders is the day traders, there's swing traders, and then there's long term investors like the Warren Buffett types. They buy a business and hold it forever. And they say over time, the longer your time horizon, the less risky, um, you know, trading is. Now, with reduced risk, uh, that could also come with reduced uh, rewards, right? Like risk and reward are correlated, so are positively correlated. So if you do, you know, want to swing trade, you might not make as much money as you would make as a day trader. But generally... It just gives you more flexibility with the option to give yourself more time to see if a position really pans out if it doesn't uh, play out in the same day you make the trade. So I think this is great uh, for traders to know that there are options for people that don't enjoy day trading or people that are looking for um, prop firms that give them additional options uh, beyond day trading. I think all of these can fit into a profile like you can be an investor and a swing trader and a day trader. You don't have to pick one. So I, I, I think it's a great idea to have accounts for day trading and accounts for swing trading and then accounts where you just buy and hold, you know, and invest over the long term. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, just please leave it in the comments. And if I miss any prop firms. You can comment what they are and I'll check it out. But thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'm back.